Hi and welcome everybody to a new video and again. Let's start. Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna learn about the today we're gonna make as I told you in the past video the rainbow shapes on the whatever its name um i told you that in, in the last um, um, time of the video i told you that w in the next video we will do the animal trading card website using html and css so let's get started open your program okay now um i'm gonna give you uh, just in simple code Okay, so I'm gonna give you a sample code for both. I'll give you uh, a link in the description for the um, for the sample code and the picture that shows what is the result that at least we must get as it. Okay, so now let's start and just create some files. So here is the HTML so here the index we make index dot HTML and here we will make the CSS so the style dot CSS okay so now let's get started and what where is our simple code come here please we want our simple code do you know that I sent an email to HTML and CSS and this is what I got from them okay everybody here our uh, yeah thanks for our code give him the best thanks for coming here and also the style CSS thank you okay so now just a minute where's our instructions let's get it now okay so let's make our instruction instructions dot md okay now where's our instructions do you know that i have called instructions file to give me the instructions that we're gonna do and this was the result phew here it came thanks a lot okay now okay so here let's read what we have here we have a required um, changes can you go from here okay so here we have the required changes we must do okay so here we will make these changes to the card.html or here let's see the index.html okay so here first thing we will change the heading to the name of your favorite animal okay so we go to the html okay so here it says heading yeah here if we just um, where's the go live open up the live server now okay so just we can divide our screen or better okay so here we don't have the clownfish so where's our picture that us give it bring it now do you know that i have messaged html and i told him where's the source of the picture or where it is and this is what happened and he told me and answered me quickly Okay, so where it is, 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 uh, yeah, thanks a lot. A magic came itself. Okay, let's complete. Doesn't matter if it came in magic or no. So here we have, okay, so just let's, where is our website? Yeah, here we got it. Okay, so here we need to change the setting. So where is our heading? Yeah, clown fish. This is need to be changed. So here we say, for example, what's our favorite animal? Let's say eagle. Okay. So here it's changed. Okay. So we'll return to the instructions and make a tip. True for or what I did is oops. Okay. So here we'll put an correct. Or to check emoji. 
Okay, so here we are done uh, from this. Now it says here, replace the placeholder image with your favorite animal's image. Also change the image's uh, narrative attribute to the name of your Im animal. So alt is a uh, narrative is the name of your animal and should be replaced with your actual name of your animal. Okay, so for example, we'll put bring a picture here eagle okay so go to images and let's say uh, I love this one okay so I'm gonna click on it and save this image okay so where is my path yeah here so eagle the okay so here are named eagle so here is our eagle picture and this was the clownfish picture okay so now we're gonna have to go to the index edit and it's same in the same directory so just write the name it is the eagle dot jpg what i did i deleted it like this so here eagle dot jpg and here the narrative will be the name of the animal eagle now i will gonna return to the instructions and here there's a note you will want to use an image with a width of 300 pixels if your image is larger you can set the images width to 300 pixels in your css but be aware that your image might end up squished or distorted. Later we'll talk about how you can fix this problem using responsive images. Okay, so we need to here if we open it's bigger. Also you can check using the file explorer. So here you go to the directory. Yeah, this is the image. We're gonna open the file location. Or just here, yeah file location here we get it this is 500 pixel uh, uh, 750 so we need to just edit this okay so here where is interaction okay so we'll go to styles.css okay so here we have the image source okay so here what we're gonna do is add the CSS so here image okay so here we make the width 300 okay so here let's try refreshing why it didn't okay so just search for the problem so we didn't what and link it the the I mean the style so here we'll write our a ref equal style sheet okay yeah so here make link a narrative not a narrative no r r e l so here it equals to style sheet okay ref equal style dot c s s now we close and try refreshing the page still there is a problem so let's see our problem yeah so here we need to make image and here let's try writing percent Okay, it is much bigger than we need so here okay so let's also make the width and the height also let's make it 100 okay so here we just gif rush or let's make the height for example 50 
let's ref okay I forgot the percent yeah like this okay so here let's return and see the problem okay so let's just make it uh, 150 let's just try making it 52 because this w I will learn about it in responsive images for later so I forget the present okay so just doesn't matter okay so now here the instructions that okay so return to the instructions we are done from this now edit the interesting fact paragraph so here search for an interesting fact about the eagle eagle interesting fact about eagle example there are over 60 species of eagles so here where it is the interesting fact yeah so here we just go right here and edit it paste it okay now here we enter from this now adding the key characteristics where is the key characteristics um, I'm searching for it key characteristics yeah this the scientific name the average and the informational paragraph okay so we need to edit the all of these okay so here scientific name of the eagle scientific name of the eagle this is it okay now the average length length average length of eagle Okay, so here we have one. Okay, so here one point eight something till and uh, here we have two point. I mean, some not something meter one point eight till two point three meter. Okay, so here just like this. Now here the average life sp life span, average life span of the eagle. Okay, so the average is about. not here 66 something okay till 100 100 something okay so just here we have the average so actually the lifespan is 20 years uh, 14 mostly it is the 20 or 14 years 20 or 14 okay the habitat habitat of eagle so here we have North America habitat 
North American. Okay, so let's say North American. Happy Tiat. Okay, now we are done from now we need the summary. Summary about Eagle. Okay, so copy. You paste it. Slash P. We opened paragraph. Okay, so now where is our Yeah, so we edit it and just we return to the style and make it about twenty five. Twenty-five. Okay, now here. I've, uh, okay, so now we are done. From now, style the page. So we must uh, do this style. Link your style uh, style sheet style dot css to the HTML. Yeah, we already did this. Okay, give the interesting facts. And uh, the cl CSS class of animal info. Okay, so here are the interesting facts. And the class, we'll give it an a class. Animal dash info. So just here. Give it a class. Okay. So. So. Here give the okay it's animal dash info. So here we use the class animal animal dash info. Okay, so here the div class div equal animal dash info. Class animal dash info. Now, here we atticalize the text of animal interesting fact. Okay, so here font dash um, let's try display or style italic. So here we got the interesting fact is italic that's okay now all the labels of the name for the animals list world the label of the animals list items okay so here we must bold them so reduce the ul so here ul Um, we bold it. font dash yeah, uh, style bold or strong no maybe it's display um, use, uh, make the bold or uh, strong Font family, not font. Font. Okay, so here you can make it font and uh, display. Still. Okay, so we can search. And make text italic. Uh, bold, I mean. Bold using css so here uh, font weight font dash weight let's say yeah, bold now we got it bold okay so now here we have move dots from the animals list items 
Okay, so here we can search also on the internet how to remove dots from what from ul okay so here okay so here you can use the list style dash type is none okay so we'll use the style okay list dash style dash type is none and we got it without the uh, I mean without the dots okay so now here we are done from this at the border for the animals name image and information name image information what is the name image information name image information okay so and at the border around the animals information okay so here we need to use the padding property so this link for uh, some help so we're gonna open okay so how we do this okay so here we make the okay so okay so here we make the okay so here is the is the syntax okay so here set with the padding okay so here we make the padding okay so name animal information okay so oh just we can keep this or here we just okay yeah we can use the nest uh, the nested elements i will tell you how now okay so here we go to the style and here we make what are okay so h1 first h1 and we have also there is a chon yeah for the eagle and here the image also image and here we also have needs the information okay an information name image and information information like yeah info it is the animal dash info okay so here we can uh, just do the animal dash info also you can just try okay now here we make the border border okay so I mean the what we're gonna do is the padding padding okay so So just we can use the inspect Okay so this is what we need so So we can say 25 Okay, so we can say ju just we can try um, 40. Okay, so here we would try the 40. 40 percent. 
just now we would refresh okay so this will take it after okay so we can I will just bring a picture now so we can check if we did as the same okay so where's the picture so we can check here we'll give it now do you know that I have asked HTML and CSS about the picture that will tell us how the project or the website should be and this was the result that I got it let's see it together uh -huh. the picture sent me an email and she said that I am in your download okay so okay so here we'll just make like this drag it here and here we just do like this okay so here we have the clownfish okay we put the picture and the border we didn't do it okay so, so it's a scientific name but here we okay so here we just need the name okay so here what we're gonna do is go to the index.html so here the photo says only the scientific name is bolded so not the uh, I mean not the ULL is the span okay so here what we did is the UL now here the span okay so here we make it bold font dash style italic the span is only the one who we need to make it and yeah, bolded so here the font dash weight bold the span yeah so now we cut it as in the same in the photo but we don't want it to be uh, italic so here just we would make it font dash dash style um normal okay so now it's better okay so now here the text it's okay so this was the project for today and see you in the next video